Morning guys, Pretty Chill Scientist here, just coming at you with another video. Uh, today I wanted to synthesize nylon, so here we go. So I'll start with adding about 5 milliliters of hexamethylene diamine, and on top of that I'm going to layer uh, sabacyl chloride uh, in equal parts, because this reaction is going to consume both products equally. And here I cut away really quick just because I had to fashion a tool uh, out of some copper wire and some glass tube. So as I remove the nylon from the solution, it frees up the interface and allows more of the chemicals to react, producing more nylon. So this is the same process that's used on the commercial scale to make toothbrush, bristles, uh, nylon stockings, clothing, ropes. The fiber has outstanding durability and excellent physical properties. It has high strength at elevated temperatures, toughness at low temperatures, combined with other properties such as stiffness, wear and abrasion resistance, low friction coefficient, and good chemical resistance. Right here I was dropping equal parts onto a watch glass and they would uh, almost immediately solidify into these little sacks of uh, unreacted chemical. I thought it was really cool that as I peeled off this layer of nylon, the surface tension of the water was able to hold the droplets together, uh, which allowed me to put in some sodium fluorescein that I had from a previous reaction. It's a pretty cool effect. And then I got the bright idea to hit it with a propane torch. And uh, let me just say this didn't end well. I grabbed some green food coloring and uh, as I dropped it in, a really cool effect happened. Uh, as the drop went in, it landed on top of the nylon membrane. And since the food coloring won't mix with the hexane solution, it just kind of formed a bubble there on the surface. I attempted to poke a hole in the nylon to get the food coloring into the aqueous layer, but as you can see it doesn't work. As I pulled up on the nylon, the food coloring was pushed to the side of the beaker, uh, where it wet the glass and was able to slip into the aqueous layer. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll shamelessly plug my Patreon uh, page in here. It's uh, patreon.com slash pretty chill scientist. Um, all my $5 backers are gonna get uh, some engraved test tubes as a thank you. And then anyone who donates $20, more, $20 or more per month will actually get uh, new lab glass sent to them every month. Uh, so check it out. And I'll leave you guys with a preview of the next video. Uh, we're going to be doing ammonium dichromate. So, see you over there.